Good evening, my name's Cody Clarkson and you're watching Weasel News. Breaking news this week, the Lunatics Motorcycle Club have been involved in a shootout at the Diamond Casino. The Lunatics were attempting to enter the casino with illegal weapons on them including knives and other melee weapons. Phoenix Security after a lengthy conversation with them took one of them into custody after they attempted to breach the casino perimeter. The Lunatics then got extremely violent, pulling guns and knives on the Phoenix officers. The situation quickly deteriorated and the Lunatics members shot to death three Phoenix officers and stabbed another. Four Phoenix officers are now dead and three Phoenix officers have been critically injured. The police quickly arrived on the scene and set up a perimeter. The Lunatics chose, rather than to surrender, to shoot their way out of the police perimeter. As the gunfight started, most of the Lunatics were able to break free of the police perimeter. The police are yet to issue a statement on the matter, however it's expected that within the coming days the police will announce their official investigation into the Lunatics Club, the illegal weapons and criminal activities. Additionally, it's expected that warrants for the arrest of several members including the leader, Mark Zander, will be issued for the possession of illegal firearms and murder of four Phoenix officers. As stated, due to the ongoing investigation, police did not want to comment. However, here is one of the senior security officers there statement on the situation. My name is James Connor. The lunatics just started shooting out the casino. Like, you know, just shot everyone, our officers and other people in the casino as well. Oh, the lunatics? My, you guys are all getting blacklisted from the casino. Oh, Mark Zander, the leader of uh, the lunatics, pulled out a gun revolver and shot one of the Phoenix officer in the head. There is no doubt now that the justice system has branded the Lunatics Group as a criminal organisation and it's advised that the public steers clear of them for their own safety while this investigation is ongoing. Weasel News will be right back after the break. This week, the San Andreas government held a medal ceremony to honor several members of the community that have excelled in their chosen field of work and have benefited the community greatly. These included the police force and private security and other fields of representation within the San Andreas community. The wedding of Jake and Bella was held this week and next week, Jack Lost and Eden are getting married. Make sure you attend those weddings respectively. Additionally, this week, Benny's Original Motor Works canceled their contract with Phoenix Security. The city mourns the untimely death of Diamond Casino COO Terence Roberto, who died this week in an unfortunate plane crash on Mount Chiliad. The funeral was widely attended by not only his friends and family, but also the many people whose lives he touched during his time in the city. To those who knew him, his name will always be remembered. Weasel News will be right back after the break. This week, Karl Stefanovic is Los Santos's most wanted. He's led police on pursuits, he's been in gunfights, he's on a massive crime spree. When will it stop? Only time will tell. Him and his accomplices have shot at police with two-handed weapons, they've robbed banks, they've held people hostage. The extent of the crimes he, which Karl Stefanovic is willing to commit clearly knows no ends. Most recently, he led the police on a 23-minute pursuit across the state of San Andreas. When will the crime spree of Carl Stefanovic come to an end? Who knows? But what we do know is that at this moment in time, Carl Stefanovic is one of the most wanted men in Los Santos. 
That's it for Weasel News this week. I'm Cody Clarkson. Thank you for watching. Good night.